So the last and final thing that we need to do on our daily checks is walk around the boiler and make sure that everything is behaving as we expect it to be behaving, that we've got no leaks, no strange noises, and nothing's happening or nothing's changed since the last time we were in the boiler house. One of the main things that people miss with the daily checks is what we're actually doing is we're looking for change. We're looking for something that's different to the last time we were in the boiler house. If we see that, it's an indication something is going wrong. So we walk around, we're just going to uh, make sure we're thinking about smell as we walk around past the gas pipe, make sure there's no leaks and nothing uh, untoward happening around here. And then we're going to go to the side of the boiler and we'll have side lids on the boiler. Just check the bridges and make sure the bridges are not moving. If they are moving, what you need to do is tighten them up, but don't over tighten them. They only need nipping, just so that the bridges stay tight. Uh, the feed pumps, again, a big area where you might get water leaks, so check around this area. You'll notice on the inlet of your feed pump, there'll be a strainer, and that strainer will periodically need taking out and cleaning, um, especially if you've had some work done on the system anywhere, because you will get some of uh, that contamination coming back into the hot well and ending up in those strains. Around the back of the boiler, I have another uh, bridge to check here to make sure that that uh, mud lid is uh, nice and tight and we don't have any leaks there. We've got a uh, sight glass in the back of the boiler so when the burner's lit it's always a good idea to just cast the eye uh, through that and have a look at the flame. Again we're looking for change, we're looking for something different so if it doesn't look the same as it did yesterday when you looked in there make a note of it, maybe do something about it, maybe you need to uh, get a combustion uh, engineer to come and have a look at the burner. On top of the boiler, again we're just looking from the front of the boiler to the back of the boiler, we're just checking all the uh, stabbings and making sure again that we can't see any leaks, any weeps. If we've got leaks and uh, steam coming out from any of these joints, it doesn't fix itself, it only gets worse. Uh, and the danger is if it's left unattended, you'll get wire drawing across uh, flanges and then it's a big repair for somebody to come in and actually uh, fix, fix that problem. Just the uh, bridges on the, uh, you see that one's loose, so I'm going to have to come back and uh, tighten that one up because that is actually slightly loose.